Hello, today I'm in Sconser on the Isle of Skye and we're going to be taking a ferry with Calmac over to the island of Rassi. So another little ferry adventure. Uh, I'm not on my own. I've got with me Mrs. Tim's Travels. Hello. And good friend Rooney. Uh, that's not a made-up name. And Kevin. Hello. So um, probably not quite as enthusiastic about travel as me, but we're going to have a nice time, aren't we? We certainly we are. are. Possibly. Uh, okay. It will be nice. The ferry terminal at Sconser is equipped with public toilets and it also has a pleasant little waiting room. There's also a coffee shop nearby which is handy and pretty good views you've got to say. Look at that. Just a short journey today with Calmac, 25 minutes on the three and a half mile journey from Sconser to Rassi aboard MV Haleg. Now Haleg is an interesting little ferry, the first vessel in the world developed under the low emission hybrid ferries project, which is quite a mouthful. What that means is it's a hybrid. It can run on diesel, electric and lithium ion batteries. I understand it can operate completely under battery power, what I would say is it was noticeable how much quieter this vessel was than perhaps other ferries around the aisles and a lot less smelly. It wasn't the kind of pungent diesel aroma. Um, some people like that. I can take it or leave it. Anyway, Haleg is named after a depopulated township on Rassi, a clearance village. And if you get the chance to visit Rassi, get up to the north end of the island and take a walk into Haleg. It's about a journey of a mile. Take a pair of walking boots and you won't be disappointed. It's a really special place. And today's fare, it was £14 return for the car and each adult passenger was £4.20 return, which is good value for money, isn't it? Tim would what? You run back to the car because you're always late. A lot of funny runs. And then I knew you would get yeah, a lot of funny runs actually. And then you usually, when you hand it to the passenger to film. You've been a little funny run. Like you eat. So there's a nice terminal at Sconser and there's toilets. And apparently I have a funny run. Which we'll film later. The Have A Go At Tim Brigade aren't finished yet. So I'm just not done too. Just a savage. The vessel which was launched in 2012 can accommodate 150 passengers and 23 cars or two fully laden 44 ton HGVs. There's it. So we've already come up with a, a good tip for our Calmac experience which Rooney is going to explain. So stay in your car until you've paid your ticket. We got shouted at. You're welcome. We did. Yeah. Stay in the car. So just, just, just wait. To go to the lounge, and then we weren't allowed. After that minor misunderstanding, we are able to get out of the car and out onto deck to enjoy these views, and I've got to say, they are pretty spectacular. Having marched my travelling companions to the top of the ship, it was time to march them back down again and to check out the lounge. Now, there are no accessibility issues for passengers with reduced mobility. There's low thresholds to the lounge and there is also an accessible toilet, which we'll have a look at later. But right now, it's time for a seat report. So we're in the little lounge area. Mrs Tim's Travels, how do you find the seat? It's not very well padded, but you don't need it for a 25 minute journey. But the shape, yeah, it's not bad. Bit it's ergonomic? Just a, bit, a bit hard. A bit what? Ergonomic. Sorry. Kevin and Rooney, how do you find the seat? I banged my knee. You banged your knee? Yeah, it's a bit sore. I think the chair is well suited to the shape of the body. Of course, some bodies are different shapes than others, but I think generally, yeah, it's well, it's it's well suited round. to the body. It's, yeah, it's not bad. So once again, some more top seat reviewing right there. The accessible toilet is located in the lounge, which you can access from the car deck. And I'm happy to report that everything was in good working order. There are further toilets on the upper decks on board this vessel. Just a short crossing with Calmac today, but a very pleasant one. 
Through the summer timetable, the first departure Monday to Saturday from Rasse is at 7.55 in the morning and the last sailing departure from Sconcer at quarter to seven in the evening. There are some later departures on Saturday. Sundays, there's three sailings in each direction. The first one leaves Rasse at 10 o'clock and the last one leaves Sconcer at 5 p.m. But obviously, keep an eye on the CalMac website for updates on timetables and, of course, whenever it changes from the summer timetable to the winter timetable. But all in all, a cracking little vessel. If you get the chance, I would say get to Sky. It's beautiful. Go to Rasse. It's magical. And as always, thanks so much for watching.